Now, a lesson on trusts is that Charles became king immediately after his mother's death and was officially proclaimed the new monarch at the ceremony full of pageant and centuries old traditions. So what have I taught you about trusts? That trusts have a beneficiary and a successor beneficiary or beneficiaries. And in the English monarchy, look at this, Charles 73 is now the 41st monarch in a line that traces its origins to the Norman King William the Conqueror, who captured the English throne in 1066. So it's been a minute. (laughs) So this monarchy has reigned for, uh, look how long, right? Over a century. Uh, Oh, wow. Uh, No, not one century, is it? Uh, 10 centuries, so a thousand years. And look at what's happened in all that time. They created actually trusts date back to Julius Caesar, 51 BC. So the concept of trusts is nothing new. It's been around since Julius Caesar. And they say that the English throne Uh, The crown owns more trusts than anyone in the world, and they own something like 600 billion acres of land and an amazing wealth, uh, untold, because we don't know how much all of that is, but it's trillions and trillions of dollars. So it's amazing how much wealth just got passed down to the next generation, and that's how they do it. So his son would be the next in line. Uh, And so it's an interesting lesson in trusts, I think. 